Salt Thug Spencer, aka the Fauna Professor. I'm here to show you how to make some bomb fish tacos. So I've got the fish already prepped and cleaned, ready to go. I'm gonna get some chupacabra rub, dust it with that. I like to dust both sides pretty good. Just get some real good flavoring in them. Flip them over and do the same thing on the other side. Got the grease hot right now, the pan's hot, for the tortillas in the end to warm them up. Got everything else prepped and ready to go. The other side real good can't live without this seasoning it's bomb and I'm doing this before I pre-dust so I'm gonna go ahead now and put some of this in the batter get some of this dust on it I don't, I don't have to put it in milk or anything like that I just leave it like it is a dry fish fresh put it on the sides right there just to wait and get ready to go into the batter just get them coated real good use your favorite fish fry you want doesn't matter what kind just use that chupacabra dust, that's what you need. I usually do maybe six pieces at a time. Let's go with that right there. All right, so we've got that ready to go. We've got the grease hot. Go ahead and drop these in. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Once they're in there good, give them a little shake so they don't stick together. All right, so now we're gonna make the sauce. This is what the main ingredient of the recipe, this is what makes the whole thing. So check this out. We got sour cream, we got chopped up jalapenos, we got cilantro, start mixing that in. Just put a decent amount, whatever you like. It's up to your flavoring. I'm gonna put all these jalapenos actually. Need a little spice to it. A little more cilantro. And you put a little bit of cayenne to your flavoring. A little pepper. A little salt. So you got that sour from the sour cream. You want to get some of that different contrasting flavors. And then it'll definitely a little more chupacabra, of course. Get that. All right. Now some fresh squeezed lime too. This juice right here will give it a little bit of a better, thinner texture, kind of depending on how you want it. If the seeds fall in there, pull them out, but it should be good to go. Get a couple of those in there. Stir it up and see how the texture is. We got fresh cabbage right here, basically coleslaw mixture. Uh, that one's like a broccoli, carrot, some sort of lettuce. All right, so we got this here. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up right quick. Check on this fish too. It's probably done, it doesn't take long at all. Put it up here and let the oil grease off. Stir this up real quick. We're outdoors, so it'll help with the temperatures and everything being so hot. Perfect. Might need a little more cilantro. You like to have a good, a good ratio of cilantro and jalapenos to sour cream so it's not too sour creamy. Okay. That looks about right. Give it a little taste. Yeah. Good to go. A little more chupacabra. Can't can't ever go wrong with that. So there's our sauce base. And it might need to be a little bit thinner, so I'm gonna add just a hair more lime juice, fresh. That fish was cooked until golden brown or it starts floating, either way. All right, give it a good stir. Now you can take this with a slaw mixture and you'll take a good couple heaping spoonfuls, kind of like a salad, and make a good mixture like that. Put one more. Let me get these tortillas going right quick so I can have them hot for us. Get that going a little bit. We've got this stirred up there. All right, let me mix this up. And again, this is the slaw mixture, kind of like a salad now you're making it. And if you want more dressing on it, you can, however you want to do it, just depending it's to, your, to your liking. But there you go, there's a slaw mixture right there. So now, put that down real quick. Flip this tortilla. I'm sure it's warm almost. And you could just keep adding this if you'd like. Take this fish, put it on this pan so the grease can be absorbed. Just go ahead and close this back up. It's still hot, ready to go for more. Take this, try to pat it down a little bit if you'd like, just to get some of the grease off. 
always better for you. All right, this is definitely hot here. Okay. All right, so you'll take your fresh fish. Take a few pieces, however you like. If you want a thick taco, whatever you want to do. Hot, nice, fresh. Take that, and then you'll take this scoop of your seasoning and mixture with your cabbage and all that good stuff. And this is what's gonna give you your crunch, which is the base of getting all the good flavoring. If you want more of the sauce, you can put it, but I'll just put a couple of scoops of this. I use a little bit of Cholula, whatever your favorite spice. Get that going. And she is ready to go. You can splash a little bit of lime juice just to give it a taste if you'd like. And she is good to go. All right, guys, so remember, go on my YouTube, Flutter Professor Outdoors TV, if you want to see the whole story from backing the boat up to biting the taco. You guys have a great day. It's brought to you by Salt Thugs Apparel. I'm out.